welcome back to the Women's Sports Report. The Big Ten has two teams in the Final Four in volleyball this season. One of those teams is the Nebraska Cornhuskers. So we're joined now by Justine Wong Arantes from our studios in Lincoln. And Justine, when you hear that, that you are headed to the Final Four, how does that feel? It feels amazing. Um, the fact that we get to come back to the state of Nebraska and get to play in front of these 17,000 special fans, it's just really an amazing feeling. With the Final Four being in Omaha, is there any type of added pressure since it is in the state of your school? Um, we've never felt that pressure, but I mean, yeah, that's definitely lingering around. But um, as a team, you know, we're just focused on, um, you know, what's, what's at task. And um, I think it's just our mentality has been great all season long, you know, staying in, in the moment and point for point, game for game. And I think that's exactly what we're doing. This is the ninth consecutive season that the Big Ten has had a representative in the Final Four, multiple this time around. What does that say about the competition in this conference? The Big Ten um, is arguably, you know, the best conference in the nation. So I think getting to play those matches every, every week is definitely a good, um, you know, good testament for Big Ten. And I think it's a lot of good practice going into the tournament. This 13 match winning streak is the longest streak for the Huskers since 2011. What moment did you say this team could be really special and make a splash in the postseason? Yeah, I think, you know, with uh, position changes and the addition of the freshman and Kelly Hunter, I think this team is very special. And, um, you know, we, we've had um, the destination Omaha in the back of our minds since, you know, January. And so I think this team has definitely... Um, you know, worked hard since January, and now we are just wanting to show everyone what we can do and what we're capable of. What has been your favorite win so far this season? Um, I, I think, you know, I'm just going to have to go with Washington uh, this past weekend just because, um, you know, the past three seasons um, – or, yeah, the past three seasons we've been, um, you know, kind of struggling with that Elite Eight hump. And I think that to go, to get over that hump and, you know, to really pull together as a team, I think it was a great team win. And um, just the energy we felt on our side of the net was amazing and incredible. And um, the, those sets that we won, it just really, um, it brought out, uh, what this team can do, and I'm really looking forward to uh, what we can do in the in this upcoming week. Justine, you are five six, and as your coach has pointed out, sometimes it's the smallest players that make the biggest impact. How are you really able to control that backcourt? Um, I think you know it uh, has a lot to do with my voice and you know the communication that I can bring to the team because. Uh, as a libero, I may not be involved in every single play because, I'm, I mean, for example, they may not uh, serve me every time. So just with my vocal abilities, I think, you know, just to uh, really manage uh, the back row and direct uh, traffic and, you know, what's going on. And so I think I take really big pride in that and, um, you know, just forming relationships with my teammates and making sure we have good energy, good team chemistry. Of course, the mental aspect of volleyball is just as important as the physical. How do you control your emotions heading onto such a big stage? Um, I think just, you know, staying in the moment with that mindset that we have in every match because uh, we're finally here. We finally made it to Destination Omaha, but, you know, we still got to focus in the moment. There's going to be a lot of, you know, outside interference, uh, which Coach Cook had brought up a uh, in our meeting yesterday. So I think we just need to focus on what uh, the task at hand and, you know, just enjoy it, enjoy it all. Lastly, you are one of the leaders on this Husker team. So right before you go out to face Kansas in the final four, what are you saying to your teammates in the locker room? What's that message? Uh, well, we have this thing and it's called Operation E and that means um, E stands for energy and so I think 
as long as we bring that, there's no one that can stop us. You know, everyone has to bring that energy and bring um, what they're going to do. And I think, honestly, as, we, as long as we play as a team, we're unstoppable. All right, well, best of luck in the Final Four. Congratulations on making that milestone. And thanks for joining us. Thank you.